Hello and welcome to the second Wood Framing Wall Plus Getting Started video. We will show you the standard framing process. So here we have the wall from the previous video when after loading frame families we used the quick frame function without creating the new configuration. If you are new to our software please check the first Wall Plus Getting Started video. Ok so let's first go and have a look at the framing configurations. Let's navigate to the Wall Plus tool, we can drag it into the view. And you can find the frame configurations either in the frame wall menu or in the configs menu. So now let's click it. So framing configurations lets you predefine how our loaded framing families will be placed in walls. So for instance, you can define how many bottom plates do you want to have in your frame or how you want to align your studs and etc. But these are just a couple of many things you can actually do. So now let's look at our dialog. It is divided into three parts. So the top part is where the new framing configuration for the selected configuration type is created. Each configuration type represents a certain framing layer. So for instance, mainframe or nailers, aka battens, and etc. Each of these configuration types can have multiple configurations. And so for instance, for the frame, framing layer, now we only have the sample configuration, which we used in the previous video. In the end of this video, we are going to compare how the new configuration differs from the previous configuration we used in the first video. Just note, we only need to create the configuration once. So let's duplicate it and change some settings by clicking Save As. And we will add 120 millimeters to our configuration name, as this is the thickness of our frame. As you can see here in the dialog, we have the loaded vertical stud families and lower, we have the horizontal plate families. Please note that the vertical stud families can also be used for other vertical framing elements. And if you tick this box at the top, the family will automatically be applied to all other vertical elements in this configuration type. And the same principle applies to horizontal plate families and all other horizontal elements. And as we noted in our previous video, you can create new types of framing elements by duplicating type and by simply changing the size parameters. And moving on, on the left browser, let's pick wall framing. We will change our vertical stud spacing from 600 millimeters to 300 millimeters. This might not be the standard, but this is not the point as this is an example task. We just want to see the difference between the previous wall and the new wall that we will create. And also, if you want to share your configurations with your colleague, you can then go to the settings menu click on the configuration files location, and then you can navigate to this folder location you can see in the dialog. And if you press browse, you will see where the folders are located exactly. And you need to copy these folders into the same file location on another computer. Okay, so now we're going to copy this wall without the frame, and you will notice that the frame will stay in the first wall we created. So now let's create a new wall type and quickly explore the correct wall setup. It's important to have correct wall layer functions assigned in order to avoid awkward wall joints. Please keep in mind that we only can keep one structural layer in between the core boundaries and you can then have as many wall layers as you need beyond the core boundaries. We must also have materials assigned and if we don't do that the tool will not work. And remember we are focusing on the structural material because the framing configuration was created for this layer so we are going to change the material from metal to wood and we're going to keep the other layers as they are right now. For this time. And let's update our structural wall layer thickness to 120. So now that our wall type is ready, we can link our structural layer with our newly created configuration. So now we have our new wall type. Let's navigate to wall plus tool and click on link wall. 
So the purpose of the link wall tool is to link our wall type layers with the configurations. So let's have a look at the dialog. So on the left, you can choose any wall type from the project. Then at the top, we have the wall type information. So let's pick our created wall type from the list. And then we have the table with all the layers. So the first three columns represent the, the wall type information that we just looked in the wall type properties. And all the other columns represent the configuration for each layer of the wall. We can link two types of configurations to our wall type layers. So we have framing configurations and we have sheeting or paneling configurations for layers like plasterboards or facade boards. But we will only look at the particular framing configurations and our structural layer, which we modified in our wall type properties. So let's navigate to the framing layer column. And you have noticed that the frame has already been automatically assigned because our tool recognizes the structural layers and, and automatically puts frame as a framing layer. And so let's also pick the framing configuration so we can see our new framing configuration with 120 millimeters in the title. And we will skip the configuration column this time and let's just untick the frame boxes. So we don't want to frame other layers. So it's important to tick only the layers that you want to frame. So now let's click OK. And our wall is finally ready to be framed. So now let's pick our wall instance. So the last thing to do is to simply navigate to the Ball Plus tool and press Frame Wall. And now pay attention, we don't need to manually set the configuration because the tool does it automatically. And here it is, our new wall has been framed. And we can see how differently the studs have now been placed in our new wall. We can also go to the 3D view. Let's just increase the wall transparency to 100. And there you have it. Now you don't need to spend loads of time drawing and tweaking each and every framing element. You can simply define some configurations and automate the wall framing using the wood framing wall plus. Till the next time.